Hey guys, I'm the 50s Kid. In this video, we're gonna take a look at these magnetic socket holder trays from Olsa Tools. Magnetic. So Olsa Tools sent these out to me to check out and I got enough to handle all of the socket sets in my main box here. And of course, the first thing that it really highlights is all the skips that I have in my sets, at least according to Olsa Tools. Uh, these particular sets go from six to 20 in the three eighths. They go from four to 14 in the half inch, which is pretty standard. And it does contain a 4.5, which I haven't seen on a lot of sets. The half inch set goes from 10 and then all the way up to 27. And the thing about these is they chose to give you a complete holder for without any skips. So they've got the 23, 25, and 26, which is something I don't have, which is um, which you don't usually see on a lot of half inch sets. There are sets that have them, but the way they decided to do it was split it up so that you have to get a second one if you wanna do your deeps. So that's what they did with the half inch ones. And whereas the three eighths and the quarter inch have your shallows and deeps in them. So you see, I sort of threw in some like, you know, I threw in a little, uh, I threw in an extension over there and I threw in a little adapter right here. So that's something you can do with those extra spaces if you don't, if your set doesn't have the 20. So that's not a big deal. I really like them. Um, I like that they're magnetic. It, it, it's not so much that I need to do this with my socket trays and have them not fall out, but what, what you want the magnet for is to make sure that the thing doesn't slide around when you're opening and closing your box. And these definitely have strong enough magnets to make sure of that, even when you're sitting on this rubber, you know what I mean? So that's not a problem. That's not a big deal. And one thing the guy said to me was that if you get the magnetic trays, they might not fit every impact socket that's made out there, but um, they fit mine. This is a Harbor Freight set and they fit those just fine. The fit is, you know, it, they, they just fit. I will say that, but you know, no problems with any of the different sets I have. I have Tecton over here. These are also tacked in and these are power built. No problems with any of those. Um, another Harbor Freight set here, another Harbor Freight set there. These are Milwaukee. They fit the Milwaukee square sockets just fine. And these again are, I, I believe these are power built. Uh, no, actually these are great neck, sorry. So um, <clears throat> yeah, no problems with any of those. Um, I really like them. I like the quarter inch and the ha and, and the three eighths inch trays the most, and I like the half inch ones the least. Just because for my sets, I don't have some of these missing sockets, you know? And so these are gonna end up taking up more space in my, my drawer here than my previous thing, which is this is just a thing from Lowe's. You can get a set of three for 20 bucks, you know, cobalt brand. Um, they were like double-sided. So I have a couple of them, couple of them and they kind of take up less space. You know, I can get all of these sockets onto this tray and it just takes up a little bit more space than this one does. So for me, um, I think that I probably will run the three eighths and the half inch with this guy for, I mean the three eighths and the quarter inch with this guy for the half inch um, on both sets. I probably will run it like that. And you know, the half inch ones, I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna use them just cause they, they're gonna take up a little more space. So I would say if you're going, if you're gonna get like a three piece set, maybe just be aware that you only wanna do that. You only wanna get the half inch if you, if you need it, if you, if you can take up all the spaces or at least if you can get the missing sockets for your set um, and you want that then then I think the half inch is good to go for the Ulsa tools. But um, for me, I think it's it's mainly three eighths and quarter inch is, is where it's at for me, but I really like them. I, I'm definitely gonna run them because I like that you can see the sizes much more easily on both sides. Um, that part I really like. I suppose one uh, somebody can nitpick this and they can say that um, they would prefer to have both sizes, um, like you know the, the, shall the shallow and the deep, together in any one particular size. Um, most other trays, I guess, do that. So just to, just to give you an example, you know, you'd have the 14 and then you'd have your shallow and your deep and the same thing, 13 shallow and deep. So most sets are like that. Also does it in reverse like this, um, just to kind of conserve space. You see the wider sockets there and then the wider sockets there, shallower there, shallower there. So it kind of conserves a little more space this way. I don't mind that. Um, I, I, I don't like memorize exactly the location of my, my particular tools each time. I'm always looking 
and I'm always like interpreting, oh yeah, there's a 13. I always have to find it every time. So for me, that doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely gonna run with the half inch and the quarter inch and uh, they look really good. Happy to have them. And uh, yeah, this is just one of the many socket set uh, socket trays that are out there. And I just wanted to give you a look. If you hadn't seen these before, maybe you saw something that was kind of interesting to you with your particular setup. If you're interested in these, there will be links down in the description. I'm the 50s kid. Thanks a lot for watching.